I remember when the financial crisis happened, thinking, oh, this is going to be the moment when mainstream economics and policy approaches are going to be fundamentally transformed. But it took a little while for it to seep in. Yeah, I think it took maybe seven, ten years, and, and now we're seeing this incredible renaissance in economic thinking. Um, and so the well-being economy movement comes under a lot of different banners. So whether that's post-growth, ecological economics, solidarity economy, business for the common good, buen vivir, and many, many more. But ultimately at their heart, what they have in common is a recognition that we need to stop treating people and planet like they're here to serve the economy and start treating the, the economy like it's here to serve us. So what I can say from my experience working at We All thus far is that I really think at least in terms of the beyond GDP movement, something that was once really fringe actually feels almost mainstream. Around the world, governments are now developing alternative metrics of progress to really focus on what matters for a good life now and for generations to come. But what I've also found is that most of them seem to get stuck there. Yeah? They're not able to really make sense of these multidimensional indicators to inform really transformative strategies and new policy design processes. And I think that one of the major challenges is because we're trying to elevate the social and the environmental at the same level as the economic, but they're not commensurate. Yeah? So the economy is just a word for the way we produce and provide for one another. It's an aspect of our society that is embedded within a larger ecosystem. And so ultimately, you know, we're continuing, even with these different metrics, continuing to apply this certain economic logic at all of these other stages of the policy design cycle, searching, for example, to figure out how can we calculate the economic benefits of health, as opposed to swapping that burden of proof and assessing the economy's contribution to our health and well-being. And I realize that this is no small task because it really requires us to downgrade the economy and recognize that it's a means, it's a driver, and a not an ends in and of itself. It requires us to ask what truly matters for the well-being of all species on our planet, yeah, and then to consider the ways that we can provide for one another that is ultimately going to ensure social justice on a healthy planet.